Alright, so I got an issue here. Um, first of all, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. It's cold and rainy. I was going to work on my truck today, but I can't. So we're going to do something different. Different. Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box. I've always been a fan of Mystery Tackle Box. Um, they've always sent great products. I just got this one in the mail. Um, I like it. Lucky Tackle Box. I'm not, I'm not thrilled anymore. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. So, <clears throat> this is the $16.99 box. Um, they've sent me a couple of good ones. paper tackle guide okay so <clears throat> this is the November box uh, first one is the smart baits I like the smart baits the color changing box or the baits can't talk today any more coffee hold on ah goodness okay so it's the bayou bug not bad they do change colors when you hit the water it looks like a bleeding fish I don't mind those I like those um, some terminal tackle soft plastics hooks these are three outs V&M scented baits it's um, just a little swim bait let's see let's see Pork fat cooked in. Look at that. You see that? Doesn't doesn't smell like pork. It smells like plastic. Anyways, it's like a green green with the red flake. It really doesn't smell like anything. I don't know. We'll see how they work. Ah. Uh, Rippin' Lips Chaser Spoons. I like the Chaser Spoons. Or I like spoons in general. Um, we don't get too many white bass up here. But, uh... They're good for smallmouth up here. Not bad. Harry's. Advertisement. Cool. I don't care. Uh, don't look like a shape, does it? Harry's. Another one. That's it. That's all there is. So, two ads. Fun. Spoon, I like. These, I don't know about. I mean, ah. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, these, I'll use. I'll use the smart baits. And I'll use the hooks. I don't, I'll probably give these away. Um, I don't know. Look at the tackle guy. <sighs> tackle guy. So, where was this? Apparently, there was supposed to be a crankbait in here. Uh, that's what was supposed to be in here. The Senchi. Sen Senchi. Senchi 5. Fukai. Uh, it's a deep diving. Crankbait, uh, it's like an eight foot, it looks like. Um, it's not in the box, though. Okay. Uh, the Chaser Spoon. You can use it around humps, riprap, points, rocks, open water. I use it more around open water than anything. Um, once I find like a school of fish, I'll drop it down and just kind of jig it up a little bit. Works sometimes. Uh, this VNM Thunder Shad with the pork fat cooked in. It says it's only for bottom, but I use swim baits in on suspended fish. I've used them on. Um, 
I've used them for flipping, I've used them in shallows. This says, use it on the bottom. Humps, points, rocks, rip wrap. But it says only bottom. All right. I don't know. Like I said, I'll probably give it away. Smart baits. This says use it around anything I do grass, toolies, reeds, riprap, docks, rocks, points, brush piles, humps, ledges, open water, mats, and trees. So you can use it. Uh, you can use them for trailing or trailers, uh, jig trailers, uh, flipping, pitching, uh, Texas rig. I've never really drop shotted the, the bite, the creature ones. Uh, I'm going to give it a try though. See how that works. Um, everything else they say is in the Bass XL only. Um, and then there's more ads, more ads, more ads. So it looks to me like they have partnered with a lot of people, shaving companies and uh, uh, line companies casting you know that's all fine and dandy but there's no like they've got some pro tips and stuff in here but I don't see anything that I don't know I it, it, quality doesn't seem good there's no interaction from lucky tackle box there you don't get the emails like you do from Carl's or a cat company. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not thrilled. So this one's $16.99. Um, this is the MTV. This is the Pro Box. It's $26.99. Um, this one. Let's see. Um, I don't know. So with Mystery Tackle Box, when you get the emails from them, it's it's more of an, an intimate email um, there's they have their promotions but it's for their website it's not for other people's websites um, they've got I mean just when you open the box you know it's it's inviting they send you a ruler you know go go out and fish go catch something um, join the contest you know yeah they advertise but their advertising is for themselves it's it's not because someone else is paying them to advertise you know if if you're gonna have a company to me then you want to advertise your company not say hey these people paid us this much to to promote their razors or you know just work on your own company you know look at everything that shop Carl's does mystery tackle box in general does you know they reach out to you all the time they they send you tips. They um, tell you to check out their YouTube channel. Lucky Tackle Box says, "Hey, I hope you like us, but you know, buy these people's products because they're paying us to send this stuff to you." So, and I'm not talking about just fishing stuff. I'm talking about, um, you know, like I said, the razors. Um, I got I got one in a box one time for a, a Tiger Bomb patch. Okay, I understand you're out fishing, you know, maybe your shoulder hurts from casting so much or, or flipping, you know, you could wrap it around your wrist, something like that. Cool. But why are you going to send me more advertisements than you are actual tackle and baits? You know, that it doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, let's get into the mystery tackle box one. So the first one we have... This is the Jenko Rip Knocker. Uh, I actually got this in another box. It's the lipless crankbait. I really like it for cold weather. Um, it, depending on how fast you burn it through the water, I mean, you can you can fish the bottom with it. Um, if you've got a really high gear ratio um, wheel, then you can even run it right by a suspended bass. You can hit it into trees. You know, um, I run 35 pound braid when I'm throwing. Um, my crankbaits or you know any any kind of double treble hook kind of setup I always run 35 to 45 pound braid um, I'll do a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader um, harder for the fish to see the line that way anyways this is a really good one I like this <coughs> um, I've always sworn by bio spawn 
I love Biosponge products, the Exoswims, the Exo Sticks, um, the the Vial Bug. Um, this is a good color too. This is the Electric Shad. So let me pull one of these up so you guys can see kind of what it looks like here. So it's got a really good paddle tail on the end. That way when you're kind of burning it through the water. Um, anyways, so that's the that's the color on the top. And then you've got the pretty, pretty much looks like a shad to me. Um, I, I really like these and they smell amazing. Makes you want to eat it, take a bite out of it. Anyways, this is the four inch um, Exo Swim electric shad. Go ahead and get it back in there. Next is the Bass Dynasty. Um, I like these a lot. Um, wacky rig these. Um, this is the Crazy Plum. Uh, it's the five inch Dyna paddle. So it says, so this was designed and endorsed by YouTube fishing star, Catch em All Fishing. I've watched this channel, it's very good. Um, if you guys want to go check it out, um, you can find him Instagram Bass Dynasty, YouTube Lip Rippers Inc., Facebook Bass Dynasty, and on the web at BassDynasty.net. Anyways, these are really good. I'm going to try these out for sure. Okay. Catch Company. Ooh. These are the paddle tails. Um. I like these a lot. Um, I love throwing these into weeds. I love um, actually drop shotting these virtually well too. But I don't know if you guys can see. So the way that the way that tail is when it falls, once you once you toss it up and it falls, the tail kind of spins. So it's like it's more than a ribbon tail to me. Um, but it spins down, there's a lot of good action, and then if you're burning it through the water, um, it does put off a good amount of vibration. I've got a, uh, a water tank that I'm getting set up, and I'm going to start, uh, when I start doing these uh, reviews and boxes and unboxings and, and just going over some of the equipment that I use, I'm going to actually put it in a tank and... The tank's not that big, but I've got a pump that's going to push a current like you're reeling it in. So you guys will be able to see the action on stuff like this, on the, on the Bass Dynasty stuff, you know, the Exo Swims, everything. Uh, let's see. Whopper Plopper. Larry Dahlberg. So this one is a half ounce, three and a half inches. Um, these early morning overcast kind of, I don't know, up here it works in, in cold weather. Uh, or colder weather, cooler weather, um, but always early morning, late evening, overcast. Um, I, I I love this. I actually swear by this. First thing in the morning, if it's not this, it's a frog or, or some kind of top water. But this is always my go-to in the morning. Um, we've got some terminal tackle. We got we got zone lock. Um, Four out hooks, always good, always good. Um, I mean, you guys know what terminal tackle is. Terminal tackle is your hooks, weights. You know, um, I really like these though. Um, the bend, if you guys can see, uh, let's see, let me open one up here. You know, there's a lot of times where you go to set the hook and you miss it and you always wonder why well this is why i love zone lock hooks so much so you guys see <coughs> excuse me you guys see how on the actual bend of the hook on the point it's not rolled over so it, it's not rolled over let's see let's see here i don't have any with me okay well, most hooks, they will just come straight up here and they'll just kind of curve around. Like, um, 
not like a circle hook, but close. These, so when you set the hook, if it was to curve over all the way, you could miss the hook set and just pull right out and through. So with these, when you're pulling up, it's actually pointing that point right into the, the lip of the fish's mouth, and then you can pull straight up and through. So these are good. Um, I have tons and tons of zone lock tackle, terminal tackle. Definitely, uh, definitely save these. All right, we've got heavy metal tungsten flash bang swim bait hook. So I like these because they have the underspin. Um, it's very good. Like I would pair these with say the exo swims. Definitely the exo swims. Um, give it the you get the vibration from the paddle tail then you also get the flash from the blade on there um i love these i love these so these are weighted um and they three of them so these aren't cheap you know they're 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 not cheap uh, more zone lock a couple of worms hook worm hooks here there's three of them and jimmy houston not bad not bad um same thing with this one i mean the points they don't roll over you know so you're you're gonna get a, a pretty good hook set in there not as good as the zone lock i think but well, i mean we'll try them out and see um yeah we'll, we'll check it out See how it goes. Ah, Sticky's trailer hook. I love these. Alright. So, these trailer hooks, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. So, you've got your... Well, we'll go over this in a second, but this is the Catch Co spinner bait so you take your trailer hook you put it over the hook put your trailer on there um you can put a uh, i don't have any creature baits up here but uh you can put a craw you can put a oh well, i guess let's do this you can put one of the bayou bugs on there that would work Last one in the box is the Catch Coast Spinner Baits, three eighths of an ounce. Um, it's got the Mustad hook on it. I really like these. Um, I throw these in cold water, warm water, throw them in everything. Um, very good, good with the trailer hook. And like I said, uh, you know, put the uh, put your creature bait on there. You can toss it just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I always throw this with fluorocarbon, at least 15 pounds. Um, with the double blade on here, you're not really going to get caught up in too much. Um, but yeah, you never go wrong with a spinner. Bait. Cold, hot, morning, night. I will. I always have one rigged up. So I don't know. I mean, I I just I I go for mystery tackle box. Um, I've been with them not long, I don't know, two, three months now. Um, Lucky Tackle Box, about the same. Uh, I got two different boxes just to see kind of how the the comparison is. And I gotta say, Lucky Tackle Box, no, I, I'm done. Um, 
I'm going to cancel my subscription. I'm going to stick with Mystery Tackle Box. Um, I don't see a point in having advertisements sent to me all the time. You know, when I want a box that's got fishing stuff in it, not stuff that is going to tell me how to, you know, shave or where to shave or why to shave or what to shave with or what kind of medications to use. I don't. I don't need that. I. I want to go fishing. I don't want to hear your ads. If you have ads about fishing, let me know. Cool. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm done with Lucky Tackle Box. Uh, sorry guys, it's not gonna work. Um, Mystery Tackle Box is gonna be it. You know, I want to add another thing to. Uh, you know, I've seen Lucky Tackle Boxes ads online on Facebook, stuff like that, and you know, I see like one of the, one of their first lines is there's no mystery here well you're right there's no mystery there because you don't have the same quality as mystery tackle box i'm sorry to say um that's my opinion you guys might like it more than i do um if you do that's great i i don't judge anybody i mean we all have our own opinions as long as you guys catch fish it doesn't matter right so um you know i wish everybody luck whichever company you go with they're great um if you want to check out Mystery Tackle Box, though, you can go to mysterytacklebox.com. Um, you can also check out the products, uh, shopcarls.com. They have amazing products. Um, they are my go-to company for everything I need. Uh, I get lines, lines, reels, uh, rods. All my terminal tackle comes from them. Um, and, you know, now they are going to be my, my box. So... If you guys liked the video, uh, do me a favor, hit like. Uh, trying to get to at least a thousand subscribers. Um, so subscribe, hit the little bell down in the corner. Uh, that way you guys can know when, or get notified when I upload new stuff. Um, until then, I hope you guys have a good day. Good luck, tight lines.